Hey, hey, welcome back to my kitchen. My name is Shanae, and today I'm so excited to share with you how to make seared ahi tuna. Not just regular ahi tuna though, we're going to crust them with toasted sesame seeds. It creates such an amazing nutty crust, and in contrast with soft and buttery steaks, they're so delicious. And also we're going to make very simple, very delicious dipping sauce to go along with it. And it's just amazing. It takes less than 15 minutes to make. So let's get started. Well, first we'll start with dipping sauce. And for the dipping sauce, we'll need soy sauce, cilantro, toasted sesame oil, a little bit brown sugar, and a little bit water, garlic, and grated ginger. And for the steaks, we need ahi tuna, toasted sesame seeds, a little bit oil. I recommend using avocado oil or regular olive oil and salt and pepper. So let's talk a little bit about the tuna. I'm using frozen ahi tuna that came in individual vacuum sealed packaging, and it's totally okay to eat them rare. Just make sure to get it from a reliable, good source. There are two main dangers when it comes to consuming raw fish. One is parasites and two is bacteria. Parasites are generally killed by cooking or freezing. And that's why any sushi grade fish actually frozen right away on the boat fresh when they are caught. Any sushi grade fish that you consume at the sushi restaurants and whatnot, they're all been frozen, just so you know. And actually that's a good thing. So it's okay to use frozen fish for sushi and uh, for seared ahi tuna. The second danger is bacteria. And to prevent the bacteria, you wanna handle the fish properly. You don't wanna thaw your fish at room temperature for too long or keep it in the fridge for too long or whatnot. I recommend thawing it overnight in the fridge, just simply transfer from the freezer into the fridge and the next day it will be nice and defrosted. The quicker way to defrost the fish is um, to put it in a bowl with cold water and change it up every five minutes or so, and it will take about half an hour. So first we'll start with making the dip. Combine all the ingredients in a cup like so. Sesame oil is a must for this recipe. It complements the sesame crusted tuna really beautifully and adds amazing flavor. And fresh cilantro adds amazing flavor too, but if you don't like cilantro, you can also use some scallions, just simple green onions. And this dipping sauce is so delicious. We'll just mix it up and then set it aside for now. And then we'll use half of the dipping sauce at the end of the cooking the fish, so keep it handy. Dry the steaks with paper towel to absorb any liquid. And now we'll salt and pepper. Salt and pepper on both sides. And have your sesame seeds on a flat big plate like this and we're going to place our steaks and gently press it on so that seeds adhere to the steaks. And meanwhile, heat your skillet on medium high. We need to make sure your skillet is nice and hot before we drop our steaks in. So once the skillet is nice and hot, add oil. And we also need to heat the oil nicely. I think it's perfect. And we'll drop our steaks in. I like to cook two at a time. It literally takes a minute per side. Already smells so good. And once you see the sesame seeds getting nice and golden, go ahead and flip it over. Looking perfect. Mm -hmm. 
And then don't forget the sides. I'll take it out for now and then I'll do the next two sticks and then I'll show you the final touch. Okay, my sticks are pretty much done. And in the final 30 seconds, I like to put everything in. And add a little bit of your dipping sauce. Perfect. Take them out. So let's go ahead and cut into one of the steaks and taste test them. Look at that, it looks so pretty darn good. Perfectly pink inside, beautiful crust. This is exactly how you want your seared tuna. So let's give it a try. This dipping sauce is so good though, it smells so good because of the sesame oil. Mm. Mm -hmm. Perfect. You can serve it as an appetizer for any dinner parties, or you can also serve it with steamed rice and miso soup for any weeknight. It's such an easy, super quick dinner. You will love it and your kids will love it. Everybody will love it. Let me know in the comments below if you give it a try and leave a comment on my blog post as well. I really appreciate it. Have a great day. Bye.